Next, uh, I'm going to discuss what how to connect MySQL to Visual Studio 2022. So first, you're opening the workbench, MySQL workbench, and here you can see root is the user local host server and password 33 uh, sorry port 3306. Now let's give you the password. So this is connected here. Then after you can see secular database and this is all there. Now the next is opening Visual Studio 2022. So then after let's click on this create new project. You can create the project of uh, here Windows application or console application. So console that's this one selecting. After that click on this next. If you want then you can change the name meaningful name and here make sure you need to use your .NET framework 4.8. After that, let's click on this create. Create. Then the next is here. This is the toolbox or uh, dragging or uh, one button. And before I'm doing uh, coding things, so right click on this project, then go on this manage nerd kit. And this place you need to search here my SQL. So MySQL, here you can see you need to install MySQL data. 68 million of uh, people downloaded this one. This is here, 8 point this version. And uh, uh, this is here, latest. And if you want, then you can check or uh, take the uh, here, uh, different version also. After that, next is click on this install. So this is now doing some uh, download as well as install. Here, .NET Firebox 4.8 that's selected. And for this one, internet must be connected. And this is now attempting to gather dependencies. Now, let's click on this OK Accept. So, here you can see so many packages now come there system data and this all that's come there. Now, this part that has done that install. After that, let's click on this. Or close double click on this button control and this place you need to uh, use here pasting the code okay so this is here the code now you can see all uh, this place this namespace that's not required So here you can see button on the button click event or there or here or when you click this query that execute and this place that uh, display here the records. So if I run this code then here when I click button then you can see here or uh, this is connected and here record its display. So one by one this uh, reading the rows and displaying all the rows one by one so three is there so three rows that's displaying now let's stop that and here this code is too simple you can see you can write manually so button right click here you can write mysql or connection so con here command then reader and this is now a string path so you need to give the part part reader source that is localhost server name, initial database you need to give UID, root and give the password. After that SQL connection, you can write the query. So select a start from sql.ct. So this is now selecting the CT table records. If I go on there, then if I write here select a star from sql.ct. Now if I run this, here you can see circular.ct or uh, record this displaying here. The same thing uh, when execute query then that display. Then after connection, MySQL connection try and if that all connect here, this code connect, try block connect, then uh, this return the result and if that not correct, then 
this here not returned uh, that ca catch by the caught block caught by the catch block okay and here you can message dot so here you can give for so if you give here two so that's just removing total is now three is there so if you give here two so that display here only two rows so here sorry two columns that are data that display if i run this then you can see this places only two rows that display if i click on here you can see one two click on ok here two alpha three so only two rows or two column data that display so now let's understand this code so mysql connection is used to open the connection mysql command is used to <coughs> execute the sql mysql or database and here mysql this is used to read the data one by one from the mysql database table and this here you need to give the path of the files sorry path of the uh, mysql so here server database user and the password you need to give then after a string uh, square then you can write any query select a start from and here con so this is now new mysql connect connection is there so this is the constructor and here you can see the path or uh, path that's come there after that try this is opening the connection uh, cmd new sql command so this is now execute the command and here two parameter sql and con so sql that's come there next is con after that this is now executing the uh, cmd so executing and reading and then after here while dr dot read so one by one that read the data if the data is present on this table then the condition is true else fails so total or uh, reading and here a uh, message dot so to get get values so first here you can see get the values of specific columns so zero index columns first column and next is there is the space and here next column that display so first column second column that display if one by one read all this all then here after that close the dr so dr is now this object is there cmd that close and con that close and after that that out from try and that's now displaying the data and here you need to use uh, this uh, namespace mysql client because this all that's come under mysql client and here windows form this is uh, required because message box form that's come there and system this also that's for event args okay and let's run one more time so when i click button then click and find first and second row data is displaying so here first and second so first and second so first uh, here two uh, rows and here or uh, next is above this is another so only two columns selected this places because uh, this place i have given only two this place i have given only two okay so you should write this uh, uh, code then you can directly use on your editor and this is the way we can connect here my sql with visual studio 2022 so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now this video is over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you